We as students, as students, as the Students for Justice in Palestine, as active and educated members of this community, of your community, have been and currently are well within our right to protest. Since last Wednesday morning, we have been denied the right to have tents and shelter. With the rain and wind this week, it is unreasonable to believe that we are doing this safely. We as protesters have the right to safety. We have faced verbal abuse from counter protesters constantly throughout the past week. People have been hurling slurs and harassing us, including people with no affiliation to the university. ISU has done so little to provide, any, uh, to provide us any semblance of protection. If you can send people in vests at 7 a.m. to tell us to take down our shelter or otherwise face suspension and arrest, you can provide protection from conflict, something you have provided consistently for counter protests against us. Let me be clear, we do not want cops. Police officers peering at us from a distance in the dark does not make us feel safe. Your consistent surveillance, yet deliberate lack of action and protection for us does not make us feel safe. Making a peaceful protester effectively homeless through suspension does not make us feel safe. We have made a large effort to be peaceful, yet we are met with silence and willful ignorance from the university. We want a platform with the president, not just vague statements dismissing attempts at a real conversation. You have not fully disclosed your investments or the companies that fund Israel's war machine. You have not divested in these companies. Yet, you have also not made a statement of solidarity with the Palestinian students at our university. You have not called for a ceasefire. You have done the bare minimum, legally required by our Freedom of Information Act. We see your ignorance and apathy, and it will not be forgotten.